Hey, I know we're late today, but this is week 10, day 5. Not only we're late today, we're late on the day too. So, let's start Matthew chapter 20, starting verse 17, going all the way to the end of the chapter, which is verse 34. A couple stories today, okay? So we'll pay attention. And Jesus, going up to Jerusalem, took the twelve disciples apart in the way, and said unto him, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be betrayed unto the chief priest, and to the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and, the, and shall deliver him to the Gentiles to mock, and to scourge, and to crucify him, and the third day he shall arise again. Then came him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons, worshipping him, and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What wilt thou? And she said unto them, Grant that these my two sons may sit, one on thy right hand and the other on thy left hand, in the kingdom. But, he, Jesus, an, but Jesus answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of, and be baptized with the baptism that I shall be baptized with? They said unto him, Are ye able? And he said unto them, Ye shall drink indeed my cup, and be baptized the baptism that I am baptized with, but to sit on my right hand and to sit on my left, not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared uh, by my Father. And then the ten heard it. They were moved with indignation against the two brethren. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Ye know that the princes, princesses, princess, princes of the Gentiles show excuse exercise dominion over them and they show that they are great exercise authority upon them but it shall not be so amongst you but whosoever shall be great amongst you let him be your minister and whosoever shall be chief amongst you let him be your servant even as the son of man came not to be ministered unto but to minister and to give his life for a ransom for many and as they departed from Jericho, a great multitude followed him. Behold, two blind men sitting by the way, when they heard that, flip the page, Jesus passed by, they cried, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, the Son of God, David. And the multitude rebuked them, because they, uh, called, because they should hold their peace. But they cried the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, the Son of David. And Jesus stood still and called them and said, What will ye that I shall do unto you? And they said unto him, Lord, that our eyes may be open. So Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him. So we're all caught up. That's the joys of this system. It lets you get a little behind, but it's easy to catch up. And I will see you on Monday.